Thanks, Lois. Dylan put this paper bag on my head, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get it off. That kid's a sociopath. Well, it's time you lay down a law with him. I couldn't agree more. I am going to kick him out of this house faster than NASA kicked out the Cocoa Puffs bird. Okay, your physical exam was within range. You aced the flight simulator. I guess all that's left is the psychological screen. Okay. How do you feel about this? Ah, oh my god, Cocoa Puffs. No, that's not me anymore. I'm just here to fly, sir. Dylan, you know what? This isn't working out. All right? I don't care that I'm your father, and you don't care that you're my son. We don't have anything in common. Maybe it's best if you just get out of this house. Fine. I hate it here anyhow. Get out of my way. My pot. Your pot. And then in chapter 28 of my novel, the other pilots finally trust the Japanese pilot and let him, let him into um, their group. Dude, that is an amazing story.
flesh and blood that I have on this earth. And I have no intention of giving that up. But one day after the camp, well, I'll throw my hand in that leap. Wait a minute, Dad. I think maybe I should go with her. What? Dylan, why? Look at her. She needs me. A lot more than you do. But we were just starting to make a real connection. Listen, I'll always be grateful to you for turning my life around. But now, thanks to you, I finally have a chance to transform my mom's life in the same way you transformed mine. Wow. You know, I guess a dad couldn't ask for more than that. I'm proud of you, Dylan. My life will never be the same for knowing you. Goodbye, Emma. Good luck. Goodbye, Dad. Come on, Mom. Let's go. Alright, thanks for coming. I'm gonna miss that boy. You know, I just finally figured it out. She looks like a really hot Tim Russian. Right? 